find the arc lengths x and y are giving us different functions t is my domain so let me actually write it down is domain t is like a third variable here and for, for example time running from 0 to pi over 4 well that's an angle actually while t is running x and y are escalating their waves sine and cosine waves they keep running up and down up and down we need the arc lengths not for the whole thing it's infinite we only need arc lengths for some part of it yes Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking about the handwriting. Please let me know. Yes, 5T. My 5 looks like your S, I think, right? 5 and S. And you know, my 4 uh, my f 4 used to be like this. Because we don't have Y in our language. So students did not like it. So now I do like this. Very complicated. And my 9 used to be like, okay, this is classical 9. You have to agree. This is classical 9. American students hate it because it looks like G. So I had to put like, for two years, I was practicing to do like this. It's very hard to change the habit from childhood. Solution, don't even overthink this. You just write down the formula. L equals integral from A to B, from zero to pi over four, the gigantic square root, and one plus derivative squared, yes? One plus y prime squared, the dy, correct? No, because now we have two functions. This used to be equation. You use this equation, use, when you have y equals f of x situation, which we're going to learn how to do it. Then indeed, it will be y, let's do f, f prime squared, uh, dy or dx, whatever the thing is, you choose. This is what you use when you are given the function looking y equals f of x or x equals f of y. But not in this case. In this case, we are given the equation in the parametric form. Parametric form. Because it has a parameter t. So the formula will be L equals from 0 to pi over 4, a gigantic square root. Derivative squared plus derivative squared. Let me write down once nicely. It will be derivative of sine 5t. Let's carefully put it prime. But then don't forget to put squared plus. And the other one will be squared. And then you integrate with respect to t, not x and not y. So the other one will be cosine 5t, don't forget, prime, and then you squared. And then you squared. That is the correct formula for the parametric form. Arc lengths for the parametric form. The new formula. Equals, do you agree? Does that make sense? So from 0 to pi over 4. Uh, do huge square. So I will tell you the answer is squared of 25. And now we're going to figure out why. I like to say that. that pretty cool. It, it all collapses to just 5. Isn't it fun? All collapses to squared of 25. Let's see it carefully. What is derivative of sine 5t? Cosine 5t. Agree? Disagree? Times 5. Derivative of sine is cosine. And then general says take the derivative of the function side. Good job, people. That's nice. Times 5. But then don't forget we're squaring this. Plus, what is derivative of cosine? Minus sine. So it's minus 5 sine. 5t. Five Again, multiplied by 5 because it's derivative of the function inside. I can actually point out. Derivative of the function inside. So it gives you 5. If you forgot the negative sign, your answer is still correct because a square root kills, oh, I'm sorry, eliminates, eliminates the negative sign. Do not promote violence. So that's the thing. If you messed up on the test, actually, the answer is correct, and that's what I like it for, too. How do I claim the answer will be square root of 5? Does anyone know this? Get through, so, so what do you think I should do now? Collect the terms, how? Factor. Factor is a good word to say. We factor something we can see is repetitive or multiplied by each term. What is that? 25. Let's factor 5 squared. If I factor 5 squared, I will have cosine 5t squared plus sine 
5t squared. You see, not minus, plus. Because squared went down to minus 5, that gives you 5 squared and 2 sine. So 5 squared got factored out. But this beautiful picture is going to be your best friend for like the end of this semester and calculus 3 class. It's going to be everywhere. Sine squared plus cosine squared gives you 1. Remember, I did not point this out at the beginning, so maybe it's a good time to point out right now. Sine squared plus cosine squared gives you 1 if for any the same input. If it's 5 squared ln 7 plus cosine squared ln 7, it also gives you 1. So they just need to be the same. That's why it still works. 5t and 5t, the same angle. It's a circle, uh, which then it creates a Pythagorean theorem. So cathode square plus cathode square gives you hypotenuse square. That's the idea. That's how it where it came from. Okay, too long uh, telling about this. I think most people have some. It's just good enough to have intuition about it. From zero to pi over four, we end up to have a square root of five squared dt. You see why I'm keeping it as a five squared, and it's kind of convenient. If you wanted to figure out what seventeen squared, you don't have to because it's square root just eliminates two. So it's going to be integral from 0 to pi over 4 of 5 dt. You can kick out 5 outside. It will be what I like to call a naked integral. There's nothing inside. Well, actually, there's one inside. Do you know how to fast calculate the naked integral? Integral of 1 is what? X, in this case, t. And then you plug pi over 4 in 0. So the idea is when you see integral like this, the answer will be b minus a. So the length of the interval, because the function inside represents the height. The height is 1. So it's a rectangle height 1 and length b minus a. That's why it's just going to be b minus a. So the answer will be 5 times pi over 4 minus 0, right? Do you agree? You can slowly calculate if you want. So that is the answer. And it's some kind of units. We're actually talking about lengths. So... 5 pi over 4 is some kind of number, and it represents the length of the curve. I want to show you a picture in a second, so ask me about the process. See? Like, if you show it to um, people who don't know calculus, too, this looks crazy. But it's actually pretty, pretty logical, right? Just, but everything you hate is right now in front of you. A square root, pi over 4, sine and cosine. But then it ends up to be just 5 times the integral. Isn't it nice? So don't be afraid. Some things actually nicely um, collapse into nicely things. That sounds weird. Okay. Let me show you what we just did. I will plot for you the function. The function is cosine, well, x was uh, sine. Plot sine. I like Wolfram Alpha because it gives nice plots fast. 5t and y equals cosine. Figure out the question while I'm doing it, if you want. Plot that. You might or might not be surprised, but it gives you a circle. Sine and cosine, each from minus 1 to 1. x represents run. Remember run in the rise idea? Run from minus 1 to 1, from minus 1 to 1, from minus 1 to 1. And, uh, and y from minus 1 to 1, from minus 1 to 1. Each of them are trigonometric functions together, x squared plus y squared gives you 1. That's a circle. We need the arc lengths. So we need we did not need all of this. The circles keep running forever. When t is from 0 to infinity, it just, while t is, for example, time passing by, or an angle, x and y is keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running forever. But we needed it only from 0 to pi over 4. Let's see what that looks like. We only needed this part. See? So we only needed uh, this part of the curve. Uh, you can sketch it if you want, or I just gonna put it here. From 0 to pi over 4, we told uh, with this domain restriction, we told the function to stop at pi over 4. And we wanted to know how long is this rope, for example. Or it's an engineering idea of a roof. 
or civil engineers will use this quite a lot in the in their projects. So they wanted to find just the length of this curve. But to find the length of the curve, you use the L formula. So we did L formula and give us exact answer, which is 5 pi over 4, which is something approximate, blah, blah, blah. 5 times 3, 14 over 4. Some approximation with units. Does it make sense? That's what we just did. Very cool idea. I think it's pretty awesome. Questions? Ask me before I move on. Because I want to do some more homework problems. <laughs>